So side bone line. We'll leave 20 centimeters of rope at the end, pinch. Leave enough rope for the noose. With the hand that's holding the long end of the rope, see what time it is. And then pull the long end of the rope through the hole you just made. The other end, over, under, and through. Grab the end of the rope and simply pull. And then you've got a bowline. You can put that over a post or through a cleat and secure your boat. It won't slip. In Danish it's called a palistic, which means a post knot. I'll do it once more. So, leave 20 centimeters of rope. Put it out so you've got enough for the loop. What time is it? Long in through. This end over, through and under. Simply pull. And then you've got your pallet stick or a bowline knot. These can be really hard to undo if they've had a lot of force on them, especially if it's wet and your hands are cold. And also, depending on the type of rope. There's a trick to it. Um, if you look at the lot here, if you turn it round, and there's this loop going on the long end of the rope, you simply just break it, and then the knot will just come undone. Otherwise, it's really hard to undo. Well, that's it. Just practice, and um, you'll get it really quick. Hi, welcome to episode three, bowline and badges. We've just had the bowline, so now we'll do the badges. As you can see behind me, uh, I've just taken the cover off Skylark. Uh, there's a massive storm coming in, so I've just taken it off just to make sure it doesn't blow away. Um, well, let's go and see the badges. So here we are, walking uh, through the little bit of forest that we own. And uh, yeah, we've, the badges have been here ever since we moved in, and uh, there's a lot of them. I'll show you in a minute. A little bit of storm damage there from the wind coming in. And if I just pan round, then there you can see the house. We're not very far away, maybe 100 meters from the house. So if I just come down here. So this is one of the paths. I wasn't too pleased that they dug a hole in the path, but I guess live and let live. Here's one of the holes here. If you can see there's some footprints there, paw prints, I guess. So, uh, and then if I go in here, here's another hole, another badger hole. And uh, they've been very busy with this tree, probably looking for insects. Another hole there, and one there. And then if we pan around here, Here's a massive piece of earthwork that they've dug up. Here we go, another hole here. And one here as well. They've been very busy here. So I tend to just leave them alone. Get on with their stuff and I get on with my stuff. Here's another hole here. If I come through here, yeah, you can see they've been digging here, probably digging for insects or roots or something. There's uh, more, another hole here, this one's quite a big one, yeah. So uh, they're pretty happy down here, living their own life. Yeah, there's lots of them, stuff for them to eat. We kind of just leave this area alone, so it just kind of wilds itself. Yeah. Well, let's go back. 
because this is just one of the uh, sets. If I come through here, let me just go through here without getting anything in my eye. So we go past, uh, we go past this area. We have all kinds of animals down here. We have deer and uh, hares and uh, foxes. I've seen some eagles down here, and some buzzards uh, a couple of times. I just kind of keep these paths open. Oh, there's another tree that's come down in the storm. Uh, it's pretty windy yesterday, but uh, it's going to be a once in a 10 year or once in a 15 year storm kicking in this afternoon. So I just come around here. This set is uh, that I'm going to show you now has really alternated between foxes and uh, badgers. I'm not quite sure what's living there at the moment. There's definitely something in there. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just go and take a look. Got a bit of tidying up to do when, uh, when the storms come through. So here we are. As you can see, this is quite a big thing as well. I think it's a badger given by the amount of earth that's been moved. There we go. There's the other badger set. There we go. There's a hole there just between the trees. There's a little path here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little path there just faintly in the leaves where the badgers come through. Okay. Well, that was it. I've got some footage of the badgers. I've got a wildlife camera that I set up from time to time. It's pretty old footage, but I, I guess uh, I'd like to show it you. So let's go and do that. So here's the videos we've taken. Uh, there's one taking some bedding down into the, into the set. And there's a, a young one waiting for his mum. There's his mum. They're pretty active at night after sort of one o'clock and um, they're always scratching so I guess they've got lots of uh, lots of fleas. They're quite cute when you see them on the video. Well that was that episode so thank you for uh, watching and um, yeah I'll post another one in a while. So uh, thank you, stay safe, hi.